19 year old Kenny Baker was a hard working student who also excelled athletically, but he battled depression and anxiety. And on May 19, 2009, he took his own life. You know, what was really hard was to watch your child for three years to struggle, to try to do everything that you possibly can within your human power to help them, but to not get anyone to really understand what your child is going through, to understand that it's a real illness. Kenny's parents, Trisha and Kurt Baker, say their son was getting the highest level of care right before his death, but the stigma of mental illness was overwhelming. Kenny was diagnosed at 15. I'm embarrassed to say this, but you know, our first response was, what do we tell people? You know, if our child had diabetes or heart disease, you know, I would be able to share with friends and neighbors and, you know, where they would bring casseroles. I always say mental illness is a non-casserole illness. You know, you can't talk about it. Which is why the couple is now making it their mission to talk about it. The Bakers launched the nonprofit AIR, Attitudes in Reverse, in 2010. The all-volunteer organization is dedicated to student mental health awareness and suicide prevention. So far, the Bakers have presented to more than 14,000 students in over three years. Therapy dogs like Mickey join on every visit. It is the one remaining uh, issue, health issue that we can have that is still heavily stigmatized. And I think now is the time that we address it head on. Shauna Moses of the New Jersey Association of Mental Health and Addiction Agencies, a trade association representing providers of mental health care and addiction treatment, also battles with depression. Moses says two years ago she was consumed by the illness. So badly that I, I would stay in bed for entire days at a time. I was taking sick days from work more than I ever had. Moses says she would remind herself of the many good things in her life. But those thoughts simply didn't make her happy. And I remember thinking, if those thoughts don't make me happy now, they never will. And if they never will, what's the point of living? And I did attempt suicide. Moses tried to slit her wrists, but eventually realized she needed help. Now she's on an antidepressant and a proud board member of Attitudes in Reverse. As for the Bakers, Kenny's death has given them a new purpose. If love could save someone who's thinking about suicide, you know, Kenny would be alive and thriving today. So love alone is not always the answer. But understanding that depression is truly an illness, not a choice, is one of the answers, insists these mental health advocates. And they vow to continue to share that message for Kenny and so many others just like him. I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.